power cots in it. And uh, it's got air releases to release the cot. Oh. It's just a linear actuator. That way you don't have to reach over the patient. Um, we were able to do away with... Originally we were going to have an air ratchet tap into the vehicle system, but we were able to do everything without tools. Wow. And then this just lifts out. Wow, that's a nice idea. Did you guys design or did they have this? That was their, these are their designs. What's the weight capacity? Um, 350, 350 for the junkin and 500 for the hardware. Hmm. Then behind every stretch, it basically, this is a section of the truck. And each section can be reconfigured. You can either have all laying positions or their seats behind it. So if you've got walking wounded, you just take one of the cots out and make it seated positions. Wow. Or that cart back there, that's what I was, that's where we were thinking of putting them, one of the mods. Okay. That cart comes out, it's and there's a winch in the floor. You lower the cot the cart out. But that fits into any one of these bays. So if you had if you were going to Katrina and you wanted to take a ton of hospital supplies, you could stow all these cots into one bay and, and then put multiple carts of equipment in and then unload everything. So that's like I say everything's everything's reconfigurable. Um, these we have forty of these tie-ons. That way we can put wheelchair patients down the aisles. These are ADA compliant tie downs. Um, we've we've moved ten wheelchair patients at once in here. We've done a dozen hospital patients. And then uh, the medical cabinetry is the same way. The medical cabinetry fits into the same um, space that everything else does. And this is the same diameter, the same uh, measurements of a stretcher. So you just t you can take these out. So the concept there is, if you are treating a lot of patients, you don't want people keep coming in for stuff. It's going right. to get tight. So as soon as you get on scene, if you're Hold dealing on. with a lot, you take all the medical cabinetry and you put them on these plastic horses. You guys put a lot of thought in Move this. Move all your equipment outside. Then these backboard holders are actually runoff trays, biohazard trays. Mm -hmm. So if you've got a patient that's incontinent or you've got a patient that's hemorrhaging and you need to control any kind of runoff, you can do that. Now the other thing that we do is we cover um, two of Allegheny Ludlum's locations and they've got a lot of hydrofluoric acid. And if you get a hydrofluoric burn, you've got to flush it with calcium gluconate. Mm -hmm. And that's constantly running off, but it's still, if you can capture it and continue to flush. So what we did was, there's a hose connection on the bottom of the tray. The tray slopes this way. Mm -hmm. So you get a couple patients exposed to hydrofluoric and you're de dealing with those burns, you start flushing with calcium gluconate and you recycle the calcium gluconate. Wow. And you control the runoff. So, like I said, they, they, they landed up being a good place to house backboards, but they're actually runoff trays for either biohazard or if you're flushing a burn or flushing whatever. And the only reason we carry the backboards, if we are in an MCI role, our plan is to take greens and yellows. Right. And then we can take on 12, 13, 14, 15 greens and yellows, and we don't have to flood a hospital. We can stop at one hospital, especially in the Pittsburgh area. Yep. Drop off a couple, go to the next hospital, right. drop off a couple. But we've got enough stuff on board that if anybody deteriorates, we've got twice of whatever an ambulance has. We can handle simultaneous cardiac arrest if we had to. We carry the backboards because of firefighter rehabs. If we're if we're on a fire standby, you got crews working on, you know, division two, division three, and you get a floor collapse, we want to be ready for that. So that was really the only reason we wanted to make sure we had some backboards was if uh, firefighters get injured and we've got C spine issues. Hmm. Um, one of the other th roles that we're being looked at is patient potentials. Um, they're starting to, they're looking at starting this unit on any active shooter scenarios because you may not have one patient, mm -hmm. but in the blink of an eye you have ten. Right. So rather than tie up ten ambulances, bring this in and then and hold it on standby right. until the situation resolves. It's very nice. Um, you designed all this? Well, wow. all the guys, all right. the guys at Lurikiski had a part in it. Wow. The uh, crew all has fire calm communications, wireless, within a thousand feet of the truck. That way we can operate without tying up a radio frequency. 
plus we've got we've got the two Phillips for diagnostic quality, but we have uh, we have 18 Athena monitors, which were the ones over on the table. They look like a blood pressure cuff. It fits on the arm. It does three lead NIBP SpO2 and will transmit it within a thousand feet to a laptop. So we've got 18 of those, one for every laying position. So we can vitalize all 18 patients going down the road if we have to. Sends it all to a uh, laptop and the midship guy can watch all 18 sets of vital signs and EKGs simultaneously. If anybody escapes a parameter, it lights it up red on the screen and flashes a light on the monitor to go check on them. Wow. The other thing that we thought that's going to be valuable for is um, you get guys working if we're doing hazmat rehab guys are working in level A, we can put that on their arm right. before they encapsulate and then let them know, hey, we're going to be checking your blood pressure every so often. And that gives you the flexibility in the work cycle. So if they're trying to control a leak and it's time for them to come out, but everything looks okay, we can say, hey, you know, Bill, your, everything looks good. If you need to take a couple more minutes, that's fine. Conversely, if we're concerned about a vital sign, we can say, hey, Jim, you know, you're you're getting a little tachycardic, we're a little concerned, how about coming out so we can check you out. Sure. So wow. that work cycle gets That's good. flexible. Um, right now we're carrying 18 Ds. Again, one for every patient. If we have oxygen needs, um, if we've got two ventilators and they're oxygen powered, so we know we can blow through that pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> which is why we're thinking, like I said, this is, this is wow. the patient mover pod. Um, six wheelchairs, uh, tracked stair chairs, blankets, triage kit, all that kind of stuff. And it unloads very easily out the back door down the ramp with the use of the winch. But this gives us the ability to load mission specific. If we're going to a large fire, we're gonna take one of these loaded with misting fans, extra water, or that kind of stuff. If we're going to support our dive team, it's going to have extra scuba tanks on it, PFDs, that kind of stuff. So going by the measurement between these two poles, anything that can fit here, we'll put it on wheels and it can be loaded and unloaded mission specific. Wow. Very nice. We uh, keep this loaded in, uh, depending on what we're going to, usually it's loaded with ice cream sandwiches, popsicles, those kind of things for firefighter rehab. They'll eat it taste good they're getting carbs they're getting right. sugar stuff that metabolizes and they're getting the cooling effect uh, we took that from Phoenix fire department every engine carries ice cream on it huh. so that tends to work well and then this we have cases and cases of water on board but in the fridge we keep Gatorade vitamin water again if it's if they're losing a lot of perspira perspiration we know that water's okay but it's sure. Gatorade's better, so we do carry as much as, as we have room for. Basic nutrition in the pantry, um, we, we have hot pockets and stuff in there, pot pies, and then we've got uh, Chef Boyardee, stuff that is quickly readied in the microwave, and you get some basic nutrition with it. And then we know if guys are going to hydrate, they're going to offload, so it's got a fully functional bathroom on it.